that is right, the M8 is returning, believe it or not, to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and I have got early gameplay for you guys. There's also a brand new sniper that's been added to the game. We'll see gameplay of that tomorrow. But today, let's focus on this weapon, see if it's any good as it compared to the Black Ops 2 counterpart, and jump into some gameplay. So this is the brand new M8, no longer called the M8A1, but the M8A7. It acts and feels pretty much identical to the Black Ops 2 counterpart, and as you guys know, it was a very, very good assault rifle in Black Ops 2. This has only been added to the build of the game that I played literally last week at Gamescom in Germany. This is a great spot to come to at the start of this map. Uh, it's a great point to sort of like cut off any enemies that are coming around this corner. It worked well for me, as you can see these guys are just coming straight around here. As you can see, if anything, it profiles a little bit quicker than the Black Ops 2 version of the gun. It looks very similar, and when I heard this game, uh, this gun was back in the game, I was really, really excited, and I knew you guys would want to see gameplay of it. So, I locked down this area of the map, and actually have a very, very hectic start here, as all of the enemies are like, okay, we, we know Ali is here, let's come and kill him, and I'm like, can, can we not have this right now? I need some space, I need some space. I'm duking these guys out, and I've also got a sidearm, which is very similar to the BR2, BR, B23R, there we go, B23R, as you can see here, I am sure I'm gonna die. I remember literally screaming at this point when I was recording. I was like, please do not kill me. Luckily, I managed to get away with it, get out of there with my life still intact, uh, using both the pistol and the M8 to my advantage. So let me know what you guys think, if you like the M8 or not. Uh, personally, I was a big fan of it, but you still need that accuracy that was needed back in Black Ops 2 as well. If you're missing those bursts, then you're going to have ch uh, time for the enemy to start shooting you. You're missing, they're hitting. Obviously, it's not going to be a good time. Now, if any of you guys have seen my recent Black Ops 2 videos, you'll know that I did a video called My Favourite Gun in Black Ops 2. And it was of a gun which is very, very similar. I'll leave it down below in the description. And when I made that video, I, I said, you know, this is my favorite gun in the build so far, but all of the guns haven't been unlocked. The, the game isn't final. This game is going to change a lot once the betas come out. All the guns are going to be tuned. Everything's going to be tuned a lot before the pre-release. And then this gun came out. Almost, almost identical gun in terms of they're both burst fire weapons. And this one, I'd say now, may have overtaken my spot as my favorite gun in the game. Both of them are still really good. still viable weapons. Um, they just have very slight tweaks where they're slightly different. The M8, if you liked it in Black Ops 2, you'll really, really like it within this build of Black Ops 3 as well. Now, it's an absolute machine, and unfortunately, I actually, had, I actually had a 68 kill gameplay in Black Ops 2 at Gamescom last week, where I was just cycling the VSAT, it's called the Hater now, I need to start calling it that, I guess, um, cycling that kill streak, which locates all the enemies in the minimap, obviously, I did a video on that a few days ago, and the EMP, again, I'll link, link that down below in the description, and then cycling that kill streak, the VSAT, and the Wraith, and it was just, I got 68 kills, I went on like a 30 kill streak or something, it was absolutely disgusting, and it's really, really effective. Now, unfortunately, um, when when all the capture happens, most of the capture happens when other YouTubers get se uh, sessions to capture as well. It's absolutely telling that guy, drop shot, worked out well for me. Uh, so when you're playing against other YouTubers, obviously there's, there's good players, right? So I was generally topping my team and then another player was generally topping the other team. He's a Spanish YouTuber who actually um, will be sharing some of the gameplay using the new sniper tomorrow and I'll share that with you guys. Um, and we were basically killing each other one off our kill streaks every time. I, I was, we were getting so mad at each other and we were sitting next to each other. So it was really frustrating. So unfortunately I didn't actually manage to earn any of the kill streaks, but I know that it's a deadly combination when it does go well. Now this, this, oh my gosh, this is the one my friend. So I get aggressive here right off the start, pushing in, using the guns it should. It's doing me well. As you can see, this is literally their spawn point right here. Look at me, I'm getting shot in the back. Pulling out at the right time, still got my double score to use as well. This bottom garage here is just serving me so well. Such a great point, people are coming out, I've got cover. I'm, I'm literally 25 score, an assist off of getting my first kill streak. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I pop out, I see the grenade, I'll go back. Freaking explode in my The car didn't even explode. The only reason I went back was because I thought I'd have to avoid the car. <sighs> frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. But the main point is just actually the use of a weapon now. We still don't have all of the weapons unlocked 
uh, within any of the builds of the game that I have played so far. So I'd assume that there are well, there definitely are more weapons. I'm not sure if we're going to get all of the weapons in the beta. I may even say that we may not see all of the weapons even in the beta. So there may be a few guns that are still left of surprise until the full release of the game. So stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated on all of that. So we've had a lot of gameplay on a lot of maps so far. Moving on to the smallest map that I have played so far. And this would be the smallest map I believe in the beta as well. Not very big at all. Where I'm looking right there, there is a wall that you can wall jump or wall run along. And it's a very popular route to take right at the beginning. And it's easy to pick off people if they are wall running because they're just not going to be in a very good position. Now you see my minimap going crazy right there. I've got a perk on that allows me, as long as the enemies are very, very close to me, allows me to actually get that little indicator, giving me a four-point direction, either forward, back, left, right, as to where that enemy is in sort of like comparison to where I am. And it's really, really good if enemies are close to you, so I've been using that streak, a l uh, that perk, sorry, a lot, and it's really, really effective. And it's definitely one of the perks you're going to see me use a lot within my best class setup as well. And I'll be sharing, of course, with you guys some best class setups as soon as Black at 3 is out. Um, and maybe even during the beta as well. I thought I'd throw this in here at the end. Both of us run along the wall. And we both just fall to our death. We are big news. But guys, that is going to be some M8 gameplay for you guys from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Let me know what you're thinking. The beta is literally kicking off in a few days' time. There's going to be so much content here on the channel. Tomorrow, I'm going to be covering a brand new sniper rifle for you guys as well. So, so much stuff to watch out for. If you've enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, then this is going to be the place for all the Black Ops 3 information and gameplay that you will need. You can check out my brand new setup that I'm recording in right now. Some more Black Ops 3 gameplay covering the VC and the EMP, those new kill streak I was talking about. So thank you so much for watching. You're all awesome. I'll see you guys in another Black Ops 3 video.